Well, hi, I'm Keith Farron, and today I'm going to walk you step by step through how to get the Storyteller Bible from your computer onto your tablet or iPhone. If that sounds good to you and you want to take the Storyteller Bible with you, then stick around. In case you and I haven't met yet, I'm Keith Farron. I'm an author, speaker, blogger, and word for word biblical storyteller. My passion is helping people move from should to want when it comes to the Bible. If that sounds good to you, then you're going to want to click that little button down there so that you don't miss a video. If you go to StorytellerBible.com, it will take you to this page of my website where you can stream or download the Storyteller Bible for free. Now, I've got the whole books right there if you're streaming, but today it's about getting those onto your computer. So let's just say that you wanted to get the book of Galatians on to your uh, tablet or iPad, I mean your iPad or your iPhone. You have a couple options here. I'll, I'll do one about getting it onto an Android phone uh, in a different video. But for today, the first option is to download one chapter, one song per chapter. So kind of you think of your traditional MP3, you've got an album that's made up of 12 songs or whatever. Well, the way that I've done the Storyteller Bible is I've made each chapter, while I don't say chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, I have made each chapter a song so that if you want to make a playlist, you can quickly find um, chapter four of Galatians, for example. To do that, you're going to download this file. To keep the file size reasonable, I have uh, zipped the file. To, to, so you're, you can save this anywhere. So I'm just going to save it onto my desktop. You can see Galatians. This is a zip file. Once you do that, then... Um, why is it going slower than I thought it would go? But uh, once you get that file downloaded, you are going to need to extract that uh, into wherever it is that you keep your music. You know, most computers kind of have a default music folder on there. Um, and oh, it opened up on my other screen. So you'll see this here. You're going to extract that. And that's where you are going to want to select whatever is your uh, music folder on your computer, then you're going to select that. I already have it on there, so I'm not going to actually click that and have it happen, but uh, that is how you get it. And then you will see in iTunes or whatever you use, you will see it show up um, as one of the albums. Well, you can certainly download a song per chapter and put it into your own playlist or shuffle it however you want. The way that I like to use the Storyteller Bible is to have a book be read like an audiobook where I can listen to the whole thing or I can stop or if I'm in my car is where I use it frequently then I can you know if I don't get through an entire book in one drive the next time I open the app I don't want to be scrolling around to find where it is so having an audiobook file allows you to save your place it allows you to skip forward or back kind of 15 or 30 seconds it allows you to um, to change the speed if there are some parts you want to zip through or some parts you want to slow down and so it's just really convenient that way. The way that you get an audiobook file is you just simply click this here and you can create, you don't need to put it in your music folder, you can put it into whatever folder it is that, um, that you want. You can create one on your, on your desktop. What I've done is in my Storyteller Bible folder where I'm doing all of my recording and stuff, I just created this folder right here called Finished Whole Books. And I'm going to show you, you know, for me, I've already downloaded every one of them. So all the ones that I have recorded are already in here. So I'm not going to click Save again. But I'm now going to show you once you've saved it into any folder, and you can go through and you can download as many as you want because every song has it there. And uh, then then you can go over to iTunes and, and I've deleted everything out so you can see how this works. When you go to your audiobook, you, most likely when you open up iTunes, it's either going to start at some kind of home recommendations page or it's going to start at your music library. If you click in here and you go to audiobooks, it'll take you to whatever audiobooks you have. Now, if you don't have any, then what you want to do is up here, file, Add folder to library. 
and wherever you are saving these, for me, it's this one, then just select that folder and click here. And you'll see it now shows up in there as the Storyteller Bible. When I click that, you'll see that all of those books that I had in that folder, if for you, if you had only saved Galatians, it would only show Galatians. But if you go through and put all the ones you want in that folder, it will put them uh, into the Storyteller Bible. Then you just need to make sure that th this is the little icon right here for your device. So for me, my iPhone, if you, you just need to make sure that on the settings part, you go down to audiobooks and you either have all audiobooks selected or if you have a lot of audiobooks on your computer and you don't have them, you just need to make sure that you have selected the Storyteller Bible and whatever books you want. Once you've done that, then the next time you synchronize your phone or tablet with iTunes, those will automatically show up in the Books app. Now, I will show you what um, what that one looks like uh, if w once you go into up oh, I just started it so <laughs> there's Romans right there so I'm gonna pause it so that you don't have to listen to that but then it will show up in there and you can see you can go forward you can go back down here in this corner you can change the speed and I just I just love having it on there and having all of the Storyteller Bible there. So with Romans, Romans is about an hour. You're probably not going to listen to it in one sitting. But having it there as an audiobook file rather than just an individual MB3 um, will be really helpful for you. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and let me know how you are using the Storyteller Bible. Have a great day.